Welcome back, this is Yamajack. Today we got Gunslinger Elysium Endless Hard. So we're gonna be playing on hard. It's hard or higher is what we have to do for this endless, get to wave 15. Um, and this is going to be our attempt at finding all of these as well, all these collectibles, perhaps the roses and the tomes as well. Um, we're gonna want to get as much of these done on this run as possible because honestly, it's a really cool map. It's not necessarily a map I would describe as being fun to play on. It's just, it's a very frustrating experience in a in a lot of ways, but it is incredibly cool. So I, I appreciate the design and the effort that went into it, but I I, uh, I can't necessarily appreciate it from a uh, gameplay perspective. More from a sort of technical. Um, Ooh, so these are the tomes. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. And then it opens up this door, perhaps. A tome seems to be missing from this pedestal. Okay. Okay. So those are the tomes. We've, we've located those. Well, we have, we've located what the tomes are kind of uh, related to, anyway. So that's cool. Continuing to search for these... Um, collectibles. Could make a collectibles guide, I guess, but... I'll probably name this one, like, getting all the collectibles or something, just for a little bit of extra views on it, but... It's not really, uh... What it's about. I don't know, man. It's a really cool map, but it's not, uh... Ooh, just one sitting right there. Let's go. We've gotten, what, four? Four of them in this uh, zone so far? We need ten or nine or something like that? Okay, we've done, we've done, we've come full circle at this point. Let's check out these uh, areas here. It's only hard, so like... I'm not particularly worried. My god, I can't shoot. Maybe I should be worried. <laughs> uh, I would expect there to be... I think we already might have found one on this, though. Yeah, I, I, would, I would expect there to be another one here. So five more to find. Four more to find. Can you get all of them just in this first area? That would be really, really cool if you could. be really cool. That'd be nice. That'd be a nice touch. That'd be a nice touch for sure. Don't think you can, though. Maybe as you go through the zones, like when the stuff pops up, maybe something spawns on those as well. I'm, I'm assuming it's like a, it's not the same area either. It's, it's a different area. But the collectibles might overlap or something. I don't know. Maybe it is the same area. I don't really know what the KF2 engine's capable of, honestly. I think we have all the collectibles in this zone though, so let's finish it up and then carry on to the next zone. Yeah, I think I think we've got them all. I think we've got them all. Ah, uh, single deagle seems good to me. Let's carry on to the next zone. Only five bullets here, and then what's that? Um. 453 on this one. It's okay. That's okay. Let's find these collectibles, dude. I don't like being inside right now. I I got a lot of all the red flags are going off in my brain about being inside. I mean, it's only hard. So even if we got swarmed, I think we'd be okay. Like, look, look at that. He does five damage when he hits me. It's nothing. It's pathetic. I think I think we're fine. I think we're okay. If this were suicidal, I would this this would be I mean if this were suicidal, this would be suicidal. You know? But it's hard. Which means it's easy. That looks like a rose to me, dude. Let's go. Okay, so that's what the roses look like. Maybe the tomes spawn in the same place. And it's kinda like uh you know, you get one or the other, you don't get both of them perhaps? I don't know. Ooh, you look like a... He's got he's got a face. Y'all see that husk? <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't look so good. 
You didn't. You didn't look so good. Oh, this isn't the same like arena. It's just like overgrown. You, you get to live. I was. I was about to shoot him just out of uh, like habit. <laughs> that would have been disastrous. I mean, not really disastrous. We're, we're fine, but I need more of these. Are there none on this? Like, I'm not seeing. Maybe they're different. I have. We we had two maps that had the. Um, this did have a rose on it. Maybe it. Maybe. It, ooh, another rose. Okay, so I think that all of the roses might be here then. This might be where the roses are. This might be where the roses are, and not where the um, collectibles go. Okay. Sure. Let's uh, find them, I guess. There should be one more somewhere. It is, as much as I complain about the uh, the collision in this map being kind of wonky at times. Found a shiny new weapon. Yes, I did find a shiny new weapon. You're going to have to come over this way. Thank you. Another door by Higgins Welding. Aww, you and we've got a door. jerk. <laughs> Jerk! You're not allowed to do that. Only I'm allowed to do that. I I feel like there should be another rose here, because we we found two in this zone. So I'm I'm expecting that this is like the rose zone. You know, like this this is where the roses go. So I I'd, uh, I'm fully expecting another rose somewhere around here. I'm not really good at like I, I'm not really. I'm too tired from all that Beat Saber earlier, for one, <laughs> to, to be able to focus on this, really. Um, let's go in here. We haven't really spent too much time in here. Get out of my face, jerk. Cat's back in the game. What are you going around there for? Why is your pathfinding taking you like that? That's weird, dude. Let's get a bit of a bird eye. You can't really jump up here. Like, it's just, that's what I'm saying, right? Like, it's just... A lot of collision issues, like weird collision stuff. That's I'm not really a huge fan of. Me, Ray, live in cave, paint on walls. I want to lock him in somewhere. Wish I kept a different clot, like a clot alive instead of a crawler, because the crawlers are just too quick. They're too fast for me. I don't know. I'm not. I'm. I feel like I've explored everything there is to explore here, and I'm not seeing. Another rose, or or any of the uh, what are they called? Those little balls with the the stuff that falls on them. I know there's a name for them. Yeah, like up here you can't jump. Like you see that? Like I'm kind of getting like cut. Oh, there's the rose. Let's go. What does that do? Heck, fine, oh dude. Maybe it does something back at the uh, main base area. Perhaps? I don't think there are any of those balls here. Oh, yes it does. <laughs> I think I think, I think this is because of the rose, maybe? or We haven't found any of the tomes. Hopefully we can... Oh my. Can we, like, do something? I do not know. I do not know. Uh, yes, please. Both of those. Both of those are good. I do not know what the rose has unlocked for us. I'm sure they've unlocked something, right? Like, they've got to have done something. They've, they, they, they must have had some kind of an effect. Right? Surely. Why why wouldn't they have had some kind of an effect? It wouldn't, it wouldn't make sense if there was nothing happening because of it. You just collect some roses and now you got a bunch of roses? Like, what, what do you want me to do with roses, dude? Also, like... Textures are weird in games sometimes, dude. So it was uh, it was the three roses. We got um, what red, yellow, and green, maybe. I think it was. R Y G. I don't think there's any real significance in that. Are those the primary colors? I know they're not the primary colors, but are those the primary colors you learn about in school? Because they don't teach the primary colors when they teach you the primary colors in school. They teach you some butchered ver variant of it. It might be red, yellow, green. But I feel like it's red, yellow, blue. Because you've combined red and blue to get purple, and then red and yellow to get uh, orange. 
So I, I feel like it's RYB. Maybe we found a blue rose and it's, it's RYB? I don't know, dude. Uh, I don't really think we need to investigate any anything else here. Because this still won't let us in. We got the roses, not the tomes. Um... Yeah, we got we got roses, not tomes. So whatever, let's carry on. We'll, we'll be back. We'll be back. It's okay. Um, yeah, I think we can afford another deagle. We can get the dual deagles now, which is good. Go ahead and toss this on the ground. Pick up another deagle. May as well if you already are doing it, right? May as well. I don't I don't know if we actually got anything out of it. <laughs> Cause we're, I think we already have full ammo, but whatever. It doesn't matter, dude. All right, off we go to. Is it summer in the UK or something? Oh God, this is gonna Crazy. not be good. How am, I, how am I supposed to find tomes and stuff in here, dude? Okay, that's that's the edge of the world. Um, there may not be any uh, collectibles in this area. There may be, but there may also. Not be. I'd, I'd, uh, I'd, I'd expect they're not to be, honestly. I would expect they're not to be. It'd be, it'd be a bit of a, you know, um, bad move to put them in here. We're on endless, so we can just get to another thing. Yeah, I'm not really seeing any, like, even spots for collectibles. I'm not seeing any like hidden passages. Maybe the tomes are here if you have to like find a, a thing. It's not a uh, if I were oh, well we're not going to be able to find it out. I thought I didn't know that was the last said. I, I don't think there's anything here though. I think this is just a like, I'm not I'm not seeing anything. Uh, it's just a boss wave so let's just take it. I don't want to walk all the way back to the trader. Just want to kill the I just want to kill the boss. We didn't, we didn't use up enough ammunition. And it's the first boss. And it's hard. It's whatever. It's whatever, dude. Dude, your face looks like garbage. Like, just actual garbage. It's not even like, man, your face looks bad. No, no, no. Like, it's, like, I, I'm, it feels like they just took a bunch of garbage out of the trash can and then uh, call it the King Flesh Pound. Which is probably what it's supposed to look like. It doesn't look bad. It just looks like garbage. <laughs> you know, you know what I mean. There's a difference between looking bad and looking like garbage, and 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 and, uh, and garbage is what it looks like. Not bad, just garbage. I do want to get these tomes. Um, what else can we do in this one? The collectibles would be good. That would be an achievement probably. Uh, the four tomes complete one wave in Elysium's Lore Master Sanctum Arena. Like these are probably maybe the but maybe getting the roses open something else up in that zone or maybe getting the I don't know man I feel like the lore master thing is through here after you get those and then the roses might have unlocked something over here perhaps let's go check it out I, I we haven't like walked up to this door let's just walk up to the door and see maybe there's like a thing that I can click on over here or something you know maybe I can open it or no okay that's okay. We know where the roses are now, or I don't. I couldn't walk back to them in that zone, but I, I could uh, recognize the zone and then just get the roses. So if we have to get the roses and then do something in that zone, then then that's what we'll do. We might get back to that zone in this endless as well, so we can just check it out afterwards. I didn't feel like there was anywhere that would open up. But maybe, maybe there was. Maybe there was. I I definitely feel like the uh, tomes get us through here. Perhaps you have to get the tomes that open something else up, and then you have to have the um, roses, maybe. Or, or maybe there was a button or something you have to click in that zone that opens up that door. I don't know. If we get back to that zone, we will just investigate it. Um, nothing else we can really do at this point, so we'll just kind of... Carry on, I guess. Hopefully we find somewhere that has some collectibles so we can get that achievement done. I'll have to, upload, uh, I'll have to update my 
Uh, achievement sheet as well. Ooh, these are the tomes. Nice. Tome of Sludge. No, you're not hitting me with that. You're not hitting me with that. So these are all in the same area. Like, you can see that this is the same arena, ultimately. Like, this is the, the wall. It's just different variants of it. Which is kind of cool. It's a nice little thing that they've done. This definitely feels like I'd be able to find some collectibles strewn about, though. Oh, there's another tome. Nice, nice, nice. I really just don't see any collectibles, though, hey? Can't go through there. Maybe, maybe you can go through here. No, you can't go through there. <laughs> you gotta try, right? You gotta try crouching. You gotta try crouching, at least. So whatever the case, we're gonna find out if I have to have the roses for whatever's past the, uh, the tome's door. We're also gonna find out what's past the tome's door. So that's cool. I don't see any collectibles. Maybe you don't have... Maybe you have roses, tomes, or collectibles. Maybe you don't get both of them. Or, like, you know, two of them. Maybe the roses spawn randomly. Maybe they don't always spawn in the same place. Maybe they don't all... Or in the same map. Maybe each map has a spot for, you know, one of the collectible things. And, uh... Maybe we can head up here. We can head up here. Awesome. Why do we want to be up here? Because there's a tome, obviously. Okay, um, final clot, or final Zed left alive is going to not be a husk, because that sounds like just hell. It'll be a clot. Oh, baby, there's the last tome. Alright, uh, a little brief look for some collectibles. The little uh, circle ball things, you know? Brief look around for some of these. Could be something else, too. I might not necessarily be looking for the right thing. It could be changed here because it's kind of a uh, different theme, maybe. Just tried to sit, hit C to zoom in. <laughs> Thank you, Optifine. Building habits. Yeah, I don't think there's anything. We'll just kill you. Take me back, baby. Take me back. I want to check out these tomes, dude. I want to check out these tomes, dude. We're gonna, we're gonna check. We're gonna check out those tomes. Don't even, don't even fret. We're, we're checking those tomes out. There's something going on here, dude. This is a fun experience once. <laughs> you know, like this will be a really fun thing to do. This time, so we get to put the tome in. Ooh, you actually like. I heard a little click too. Ooh, fancy. Pulling this lever may have consequences. Down. Okay. Now. Sounds okay to me. I don't have any. I don't have any issue with consequences. We've what do you, What do you mean consequences? Think I got a problem with with facing Siren, the consequences to my actions? What, what would even What did it, What would it even do? Like change the number of Zeds that can spawn, or like what types of Zeds spawn, maybe? Maybe? I don't know. We're on like, slightly easier suicidal difficulty at the moment. For another two ways before we move up to slightly easier than Hell on Earth difficulty. So it, it is a little bit, you know, dangerous I guess, but... At the same time, I really don't think it's that bad. I was expecting to find more behind that uh, tome door, though, so that doesn't really help us with the um, with the roses. Maybe it uh, takes us to a special, like a special arena or something for the next boss fight. I don't know. I, I have no idea what consequences they could be talking about here. You want this? I just wasted all the bullets we got from it, but that's okay. You're disgusted, are you? Utterly disgusted. I'd like to go back to the Rose place and see if there's anything there. Oh, there's definitely a... Uh, 
some stuff going on here. Yeah, look at that. Three left. I know there's at least like two more here, I think. Let's let's just clear out some some trash here first. Cuz again, it is it is starting to get into the almost challenging difficulties, you know? It's starting to get into the, the almost challenging difficulties. So I would, I would like to take it a little bit easier. Oh, hi. How's it going? We need two more of the collectibles, it seems, I think, right? That's that's what we're at right now. I like I like the, uh, the skins that have big heads on the flesh pounds. So you can murder him a little bit easier. What are we going to leave alive? Um, I like leaving that guy alive. Yeah, we're gonna leave this guy alive. As we, uh, search around a little bit here for some collectibles. I was expecting to find the collectibles a lot sooner, so I'm definitely not gonna be naming this about collectibles. I probably will, actually. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to word it in a way that, that makes it clear that it's not a guide to find the collectibles. I don't want people, you know, be, I don't like, I don't like making things, uh, like tricking people. Oh, I accidentally killed everything. We need one more. Can I, can I spot one, maybe? Damn. Okay, we're, we're, we're on endless, so we still have opportunity here to, to do something. Okay, so we got some walls popping up here now, I guess. Get uh, something in these, maybe? I don't know, man. Maybe there's uh, something in the in the trees? In, in this thing? Can I, like... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I still don't know what that lever consequences thing does. Krampus. That's just abomination. Just the abomination rebranded. Don't don't let it fool you. This is no Krampus. More like Santa. He brings the gift of sludge and acid. Despair. Death. Tritus. Maybe, maybe that's maybe that's Krampus's job. Who knows? Probably Krampus. Santa. I believed in Santa until I was like, I don't know, 13 or something. I mean, Santa's real. Don't let, don't let nobody fool you, okay? Santa Claus, he's a real boy. I'm a real boy now. Except I'm not a boy at all. But Santa is. And I'm role playing as Santa. What are we doing? I don't know. I want to know what this lever does, dude. Let me let me pull the lever. Can I pull the lever? Get the lever is clearly very clearly pulled. Where a billion scrake spawning? That scares me approximately not at all. Yeah, this is this is fine. This is fine. <laughs> I don't know. Is this the consequence? Or is it like I don't notice the consequence. Is is it harder? I I don't I don't know. I I feel like it isn't. It's not trying to like, I don't know. I really just don't know what the consequence does. You know, and it's like, if we were to have been playing in like a real game, not endless, by this point in time, we'd have already been done and the consequence wouldn't have happened. Maybe, maybe it has to, maybe it only has a consequence in normal, or maybe it's just a, a thing that kind of happens way down the line. Maybe, maybe this is a map that's built around endless mode. Perhaps. I don't know. I, I just, I really, I want to know what the consequence is, but I really just, I'm not understanding <laughs> what what it is. I hope you don't get that stupid sludge map because that one sucked. And I really don't know what the consequence was. Was there, was there some kind of consequence? I don't know, dude. We'll probably get the sludge one on this one, though, is my guess. Yeah. 
as expected. Turns out it's true. Blood is thicker than water. Okay, so we're gonna want to make sure we kill stuff. Uh, there is one over there. Maybe that'll hit it. Yes, it did. Let's go. What a shot! <laughs> Did not get an achievement for that, so I just wasted my time, is, uh, is what I'm kind of seeing here. I would like to explore this map, so we will want to leave at least one alive. If, we, uh, if we're able to do that, because this, this, uh, this area does have quite a bit going for it, honestly. I'd, I'd like to poke around and, and see what we got, but we just have to make sure we remember to leave at least one alive. So we can actually do that. Follow the intended path, the collision actually seems fine. It's just sometimes there's stuff on the intended path and you have to, you know, kind of get off the beaten path. And you get punished severely for that, which uh, is frustrating at times. Get out of here, get out of here. We got a Scrake. I wouldn't mind leaving the Scrake alive, honestly. Scrakes are probably the least dangerous Zed when they're left just on their own. Because you can just do that and walk past them. They don't really... They're not very scary. I'm not really seeing... I'm not really seeing much of anything, really. But especially not anything uh, of interest. And we'll head over here. Maybe we can go up this. This looks like it's a it's a down only kind of situation going on there. How do we get up? Perhaps over here. Yeah. Okay. Why would we want to be over here? Just an ammo crate and spot to camp, I guess maybe. Yeah, I don't think there's anything here. I'll kill one of you. So two. Yeah, there's two. Um, got all the collectibles. I didn't get an achievement for that, so I'll probably have to do it again when they make the achievement for it. If they do, I'm pretty sure they haven't been making achievements for it for a while. But we got all the collectibles, but we didn't get all of them. Um, some of them still exist, you know, like that one and that one. Um, but we, we got all that you need to say that you did it anyway. Ooh, you can go underneath. Cool, 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 cool. Can you head in there? No. No, I can't. Probably some more collectibles lying about. Yeah, I think there's one up there, right? Maybe I'm blind. Could probably bash him to death. Let's not try it, <laughs> but I imagine I could do that. It's just a scrape. They're not dangerous. Okay, so I don't think there's anything here. Hopefully we get that Rose place again, because I would like to see if we can't... Um, maybe... What? I thought I saw a bloat there. I'm like, what the heck? It's the trade wave. Is this going to hurt me when I'm walking around? Oh, God. That sounds brutal, dude. Uh... <laughs> So we got it. We, we, we've done, honestly, like most of it. We just have to figure out what these things are. We just have to figure out what they are. Uh, hold on. That's my estrogen. Uh, I've just got a message. I just have to respond here. I am recording a video probably like 10 minutes more. So this is this is gonna hurt me, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta test it. You gotta test it. You gotta you gotta test it in a safe environment, so you know, right? Does this open yet? No. I don't know when that opens. Maybe the consequences are that more of these things can spawn, or something. I don't know. I don't know. I I really don't know what the consequences are. She wants to go to sleep. Well, go to sleep. Hold up, I, I have to I have to message her. 
LOL, go to sleep. We can talk tomorrow then. It is okay. Have a nice sleep. One of my uh, one of my friends had uh, gone for laser hair removal today. It was like a four-hour treatment of laser hair removal, which is uh, is a quite a painful and uh, mentally mentally strenuous experience. Um. So I wanted to I wanted to talk about what the experience was like, but when I wanted to talk, she was eating dinner, and she's like, "I'll be back." And then I started recording, and then these videos, both of them, have kind of gone on longer than I expected them to. Well, actually, no, the last one didn't. I mean, the last one kinda did. But, uh... Yeah. Anyway. It was, uh... So now she's, she's done eating dinner and she wants to... Um... Go to sleep, but I'm recording. I'm like, oh, but you know, <laughs> so we'll we'll just talk tomorrow. I do want to know. I want to know what the experience was like. I've uh, I've personally had laser hair removal done um, on my face. I've had one session done on my face, and uh, that was a very unpleasant experience. Very highly unpleasant. Okay, slasher, slashers keep ho. Is this uh, the Lore Master Arena? Is this the Botanica? I don't know. There's like a billion arenas. We'll just have to play a bunch of endless. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we'll just continue playing. Maybe uh, the Botanical Arena and all that is just, you know, one of these. Who knows, dude? It's cool, though. It's, it's just, it's, it's a very cool map. I just wish it were better. You know? It's like uh, a lot of really advanced cool stuff, but like the basics and the, the, the bare necessities, the essentials are just kind of lackluster. It's, uh, it's definitely form over function, I guess. You know, I praise the BS Old West map all the time as being excellently designed, but poorly... You know, poor aesthetics, but a very good all-around just kind of uh, experience as a, as a gameplay thing, you know, outside of the aesthetics of it. This is kind of the opposite. It's a very pleasing aesthetic experience, but the gameplay itself is... <sighs> Honestly... It's, it's either way too easy, like in the case of this one, which you just have like 80 billion light years of space to move around in um, or it's frustratingly difficult not not hard in the way that like you know you're making mistakes and dying and stuff but like hard in the sense that the, the map just kind of doesn't allow you to to make basic mistakes like oops I accidentally hit D when I'm walking down a straight quarter because now there's a little twig in front of me and now I'm stuck you know and that's that's frustrating um, but we'll just head down this way. It, it is it is a very aesthetically pleasing map anyway. I I can definitely I think that this was voted in. I can 100% see the uh, the appeal of having voted this something like this in because this is this is a an incredible map. Really truly it is. It's just for me it's, it, there there's too much lacking from just a, a basic like the gameplay loop itself is is yeah, I don't know I don't want to be too negative about it but I, I'm not a huge fan of it and I don't know maybe, maybe uh, it could be what often happens is tripwire adds a whole bunch of stuff to a map and then that ends up breaking it that could be what happened here like the map itself before tripwire got it and like went over it with their you know nonsense QA stuff or whatever um, it might have been amazing, and then, and then Tripwire ruined it, and the, the dev of the, the map is, is like super annoyed at that, which is, is a common theme. Um, perhaps that could be what happened. But regardless of what it is, the map that I'm currently playing on 
Hey, it had a great first impression. <laughs> is is really what it boils down to. And honestly, like most of the places have been pretty good. It's it's a good map. I just I don't know. I don't know if we'll be playing on it too much. I don't know if we'll be playing on it too much. I love the Han skin. How am I meant to work? Looks sick. You must stop living. I do think that uh, we, we just won't be playing on it very much. It's just what it boils down to. Which is unfortunate because it's a really cool map. Well, we'll probably play it on sometimes. I mean, if, if random picks it, then random picks it, right? We'll play on it, but... I think this is a Hell on Earth boss fight. Mm, I don't think it is. Maybe, maybe it is, I don't know. Gunslinger is pretty stupidly broken. So it could be. Right, there's uh, another achievement and another thing done. We still haven't done the uh, Christmas Carol or Under the Mistletoe. This looks like a rose to me, though. It looks like a rose to me. Let's keep playing. Let's keep playing. No, we're not gonna end just yet. We're not gonna end it just yet. I wanna, I wanna find this lore master sanctum. I wanna find the Elysium Botanica. I wanna find all this stuff and play on it and get all of this stuff done. You know, slashers? No, that's those scrapes. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna get all the stuff. You know, I wanna do all the things. I love killing Scrakes. They're such great, like, targets for, for bullets, you know? They're just so much fun to just unload into. Ooh, you can, like, split them in right in half. That's cool. Now that's bullet time. But I love, I love Scrakes. They're, my, they're, they're probably my favorite Zed to, to fight. Like, when I get a Scrake wave in Endless, I'm just like, oh. It's a dream come true. Flesh pounds are also okay, but scrakes are just a little bit better in my opinion, honestly. That's how we do it in Darwin. They just kind of hit a little bit different when you when you shoot them in the face, you know. There's, some, there's something about that experience of just unloading everything you got into this scrakes face. Well, like not really everything you got. You know, I, I do that all the time, where I unload exactly enough bullets to kill the scrake. Like just do 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 do, you know. I I actually, if I were to tell you how many shots does it take to kill Scrake? I couldn't tell you. I could do it, you know? So we'll, we'll, we'll do it. One, two, three, four, five. Five. It's five bullets. That's how, that's how many you have to do to, to kill Scrake. With uh, with Deagles, Tier 2, Gunslinger, Suicidal. Or I guess maybe... Is it Suicidal or Hard? I don't know. Tiny Terror. Oh, God. Okay, but we did find the, the Rose place again. So that's good, at least. Don't like Tiny Terror at all, but... We will we will investigate a little bit, see if we can't find a new path that is opened up because we got all the roses or something maybe. Tiny Terror is super duper not fun. Just FYI. And it makes Scrakes, as I was just talking about, it makes them super frustrating to fight. It's like they it's like they're listening and they just don't want me to have fun. I don't know. I don't know where the like what the roses do. I don't know what the lever did. Like I don't. I don't know what any of the stuff that we've got has done. There's there's no real indicator to to what is is happening. Who is this mysterious at all? Like I got no idea. We are back. We are looping again though. We're going back through the same maps it seems. Which means, presumably. That the lore master arena requires something from the roses, or, so, or the lore master arena requires something from the tomes, and the roses requires something from, or the uh, the botanica requires some kind of rose thing, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Get out of here, dude. I don't know. Yeah, whatever, whatever, dude. Be a be a tiny little stupid flesh pound if you want to do that. Okay, I'm not gonna stop you. Now who's 
<laughs> he is cute though. The tiny tear. I don't like the tiny tears, but they are kind of cute though, right? They are. They are, like. They are kind of cute. I don't know. We haven't really been going into the, uh, the center here so much. Okay, I did enrage that Scrake. I thought he would come at me a little bit sooner, but I, it feels like their pathfinding kind of gets like all of the Zed's pathfinding kind of gets messed up on this zone. Okay, maybe you have to like jump into the well. I don't know. Uh, definitely not. <laughs> you can't really make that. Yeah, you can't. You definitely can't do that. That's definitely not a thing. So the Botanica, huh? Complete one wave in Elysium's Botanica Arena. I feel like that it looks like a rose, and we are looping. So I'm I'm imagining that. This feels like Botanica to me, right? I mean, Botanica is more... I don't know, it's more herby, right? I don't know, it is... I mean, botany's kind of flowers too, right? Look, that's... that's it's, it's just the... It's botany. But I don't know, I don't I don't know, I don't know. This isn't really a botanical thing though, right? Like, this is more of a... Farmhouse or even like a village area, maybe? I don't know, I don't know. I don't think we're gonna find anything though. Am I here? Just, just the roses, but they don't really do anything. Unless there's something back here, maybe. Can I like go through this now, or <laughs> like I'm desperately clawing it at any kind of uh, opportunity for finishing this that I can get? Cause I do not know, dude. I do not know. What is that? Is that a scrake? I don't know what it is. Uh, what other ideas would I have for hiding the botanical arena? Yeah, it just is a yeah, it's a scrake. Okay. Honestly, like just getting it randomly is, is probably what happens. Maybe they're rare or something, or maybe they get added into the loop after you get. The things so you have to like do endless mode and then like repeat it multiple times to finally get it. We're not getting anything new happening over here though. This thing still. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, before we do that. Let's just grab this right here, yeah. This cat's back in the game. So presumably after we, uh, now that we've got, so this is probably going to open up that other door. The Botanica has opened. Nice. Okay, cool, 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 cool. What's that mean? Heck if I know, dude. Heck if I know. But the Botanica is open. The Loremaster Arena is not open though. Maybe it involves something with like this thing? No? I don't know. Maybe we already have it. Maybe when we get back to the place where we got the um, tomes in the first place, uh, something new happens there because we pulled the lever or something. Or maybe we have to kill the Botanica stuff. Or I don't know, dude. I knew it was something to do with the roses, though. You could see the roses in the stupid picture, right? Can't see the tomes in the in the tome thing, though. In the in the in the lore master thing, but I mean, lore master tomes, I mean, kind of, they kind of go hand in hand, right? Sort of. I don't know. I don't know. But we have the botanica open now, so we can investigate what the heck's going on with that. Which is cool. Now that's bullet time. Getting all of the things done in one endless round. That's pretty good. I think I think we're literally doing all of them in this endless one. If we get the lore master and the botanic arena, which we might not. We are we are doing. Y'all y'all see that? Y'all y'all see that thing happening up there? 
Because uh, I did. I don't know. I'm going to go investigate that door as well. Seems a little bit sus to me. But it says... I don't know. This, this door doesn't seem to have any way to open it. So maybe we have to... Or maybe this is related to... So there are other things happening here. We have to find something else maybe for the Lore Master Botanica Arena. Or the Lore Master Arena, not the Lore Master Botanica Arena. Just the Lore Master Arena. I don't know, maybe, maybe it has to do with these. Because there's a bunch of them littered throughout the, uh, the map here. I don't know. I don't know. We might have to go all the way back around until we get back to the Rose Zone. Um, to be able to actually do the Botanica thing. We might have to go all the way around. Wouldn't that be fun? Just toss a grenade at it, maybe? I don't know. Got some ammo here. This is exactly what I like to see. Nice, Scrape wave. All lined up nicely for death. <laughs> it's so satisfying, you know? Like, there's just something special about that. There really is. So I think they have to come up from over here. I was thinking I'd, I'd just chill out up there, but I don't like I don't like attacking on the on the on the ramps really so much. Get out of here, dude! You don't stand a chance. I don't think it is. I don't. I don't. I don't think the next wave is gonna flatten me. Actually, I'm. In fact, I'm fairly confident that the next wave won't flatten me. Of all the waves, the boss wave is one that I'm kind of the least worried about. I don't know what the botanic is all about, dude. We've got it open, but we can't actually, like, find it anywhere. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we, I, my, my, my current theory is that we have to get back to the... Uh, the farmhouse area, and then that will just take us to the Botanica thing. I came for the Patriarch. Ooh, the Matriarch looks awesome. I really like that. Um, cool. I mean, I can fight the Matriarch just out in the open anyway, really. You don't really need cover to fight her. I watch uh, watch videos on like how to fight the matriarch on occasion when it pops up on Reddit. People are like people always complain about the matriarch being difficult. You know, this is how you do it, and they're just running around like a a bus or something in evacuation point. And I'm like, you can also just walk up to her, and then she can't hit you. <laughs> she just can't do anything if you just stand right in front of her. You gotta kind of like strafe a little bit to the left to keep it from getting you, but. No, we've opened the Botanica. Oh my. Is this the consequences to my actions? A million flesh pounds? Or quarter pounds, I guess. Maybe, maybe these are the maybe this is the consequences to my lever actions. I don't think it is though. Cause it doesn't really feel like much of a consequence. I mean, we are only on hard, but it does it does scale up. Like it, it does scale up, so so it isn't really hard anymore. It's slightly easier than hell on earth. I, I maybe it's a little bit easier than suicidal too, probably. Honestly, I don't know exactly what scales up. I think it's health, damage, speed, and mechanics, but not to the same degree that it scales up in. Like actually moving up the difficulty. I don't know. I haven't looked into it too much. Killing Floor 2 is one of the few games where I just I don't really care about the mechanics. It's more of a feels thing for me, you know. Okay, so we are running out of ammunition for our Deagle at this point, which means it is time we started using the Glock a little bit more consistently here. That. Yeah, so 
So we're gonna wanna we're gonna wanna switch to the Glock for for our, most of our clearing. We don't wanna end up you know out of ammunition on the the deagles there. That'd be disastrous. I don't know what the heck the tomes do. This seems like a botanical arena to me. This looks like a very highly botanical arena if I've ever seen one. This also looks like a very difficult arena. Suits and boots, guys. We got something. This does not look like an easy arena at all. Oh dear. I'm not actually sure I'll be able to accomplish this. I imagine I will, but my confidence level here is not 100%, you know? It's more like 60% uh, confidence here. So I'm, I'm, I'm pretty confident. I, I, you know, my, if I were to bet, I'd say I'm going to complete it, but... This cat's back in the game. It's definitely... I'm going to leave those scrakes alive, this one as well. Just try not to enrage them, just to keep the, the mob counts down here a little bit. If we can get them all together as well, that would be really good. Kind of get all these scrakes in one little, you know, group of scrakeage. Be nice. Just helps to, to keep the Zed counts down, right? Because there's a maximum number of Zeds on screen, or on uh, just alive at any given time. And if you just leave some Zeds that are not of any danger to you, alive, then uh, you kind of just reduce the number of Zeds that can be alive. And it makes it significantly easier, substantially easier. Like, you see how easy this is? There's what, one, two, three, four five scrakes alive that's reducing the number of zeds alive by five like that's huge so this this definitely getting a bunch of scrakes to spawn like that and not having a bunch of flesh pounds spawning made this like you know it changed the confidence rating here to 100 percent we'll we'll call it that just make sure you don't enrage them because that could be disastrous Six. I think we have six uh, scrakes alive, so we should uh, start picking them off, I guess. Nice. Okay, so there's the botanical arena down. Oh, you're not a scrake. You're bloat. <laughs> you look the same to me. They look the same. We do have the scrake off to our left. We'll have to be concerned about to a certain extent, but also not really. Nice. Okay. Uh, Loremaster Arena. I don't know how we're gonna get that one. I guess you can kind of like camp out here. Maybe there's something up here that I'm interested in. We'll never know. We will never know. I'm guessing the next one will be the Loremaster Arena, and then we'll be able to uh, to finally, at long last, die. Rock and roll. Having accomplished all of the things in one. That's pretty cool, right? So about an hour <laughs> to have done it all myself without any, uh... Like, I didn't even know what the map was like before I, I started playing it today, you know? Let alone, uh, what all the positions of everything is, right? I think I think that's pretty good, an hour to get everything done. Assuming we get the Loremaster Arena next, which I'm pretty sure we should be getting. I, alternatively, it could take... Uh, a few more. I'm hoping we get it next. Because I don't really want to fight another boss. I just don't... Like, the bosses to me just aren't as fun as as the rest of the game. And honestly, I'd, I'd like to go back to playing some Terraria. Or, or going to sleep. I'm really tired from all that Beat Saber earlier. It was, uh, it was a lot. So I, th I don't think that hurts me, but I think it would freeze them. No, this does hurt me. That does hurt me. Okay. Correction, it does hurt! Uh, it, we haven't had anything saying that the Loremaster Arena is unlocked, though. It said there was consequences. That might be the Loremaster Arena consequences? I don't, I don't know. I do not know. I would imagine it is, because I haven't noticed any other consequences. Um, but, who knows, dude? Who knows? Not me. I do not know. I'm really hoping that we get the Loremaster Arena next, though. That could have been the death of us. That was really bad, actually. We put a lot of effort into this run. I really want this stupid Loremaster Arena. Where's the other Zed? 
Aha. Okay. It's one way to, to kill Zed, I guess. Just kind of let it kill itself. That that works by me. So I'm, I'm guessing we get the Lore Master now. Or something uh, to help us towards that goal. Nope. Okay. Cool. That kind of sucks. Kind of super sucks, actually. Um, but is what it is. Is what it is. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know where. I don't know how to get to the lore master here. I want to know how because I want to do it. But we're gonna have to fight another boss, I guess. And. Like, we got all the lore books, or the, all, we didn't get all the lore books, but we got all the, uh, the tomes. And we haven't, like, nothing, nothing else has happened because of it, <laughs> you know? Maybe, maybe we have to do another cycle here. That, that other doorways is kind of interesting to me as well. Or is, is kind of piquing my interest in that, uh, because there's that other doorway in the, uh, in the main arena. Uh, opposite the the tomes, that is not open yet. So getting that open probably gets us the uh, the lore master is my guess. I'm hoping. Can't I can't think of anything else. I don't know how we'd open that though, because I don't think that there's anything else in the. Uh, I'm trying. I'm picturing the the arena right, and all the things in it. I don't. I'm not. I'm not seeing any. Uh, like I'm just kind of walking in the air there. It's kind of weird, dude. Um, I'm not seeing any other stuff. You know. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, try I'm trying to picture the arena and like other things on the ground that I might be able to interact with, or other bits and bobs throughout the other maps that we might be able to grab. There was one more that didn't have any collectibles. Nice apron, chainsaw man. There was another map that didn't have collectibles. That map, that was the one with like the big pillars. It may have... Um, something to do with the Lore Master Arena, maybe? I, I could maybe see something like that happening. So if we get those big pillars, we'll have to investigate a little bit more, maybe, but... For right now, we're just kind of continuing on, hopefully finding something indicating something for these lore master arena. Like, I'm I'm lost for this one. I might have to look it up. I really don't want to. I really, really don't want to. But it's this door. No, it's the other door. It's this door that's kind of got me. Confused, honestly. Um, yeah, this door's kind of got me confused. Cause how do you open up this, right? So there, there's got to be some other thing happening uh, in here. And and my my guess is that it has to do with this. You know, my guess is it, it's involving this. Cause there's a bunch of these littered about. I don't get to interact with it. There's no interaction here, but maybe, maybe there's something that we can do with it. I, I don't know. I don't know. Ignore them at your own peril. I will ignore all of the quarter pounds because they're dumb. Eventually, they will walk into the uh, stream of bullets I'm spewing towards the king flesh pound and kill themselves for me. Just gotta make sure that you're not getting ambushed from behind. And not walking into a wall or something, but pretty much what happens is they just kind of walk into it for you and then die. Very easy. I don't know if anybody's really calling the King Flush Pound a particularly hard boss, though. Maybe you have to... You know what? I, I do have one more idea. Can I, like, move this onto those, maybe? Maybe? Because there's three of those, I think. 
they're like pretty far out though. And it's not very easy to move, honestly. Can't even get it up. So would I be able to move it? Like, through this? Perhaps? Yeah? That, that, the, that doesn't feel very right to me though, honestly. That feels, that, that just feels highly wrong. I can't think of anything else though. Because we, we can interact with those, right? Like they might not necessarily be, you know, use objects, but we can, we can interact with them. We can affect them and, and uh, move them. And then there are these things kind of littered about as well. I don't know. I could see it maybe being the case, but it, it feels if, if that's what it is, then I don't think we're going to do it anyway, because that does not sound like fun. Maybe they spawn close to them, though. And then, as I've been playing, I've been, you know, shooting it and moving it, and now they're not close to them anymore. Maybe? I mean, how do you even get one onto this? Because you can't get them up anyway, right? And how do you get one onto that? Because you can't, you can't bring the balls up. So shooting them is not right. Maybe you can pick them up if you just try and pick them up. Maybe. Maybe bashing them is good. No, bashing doesn't seem good. The next round can't be a challenge because I'm too good, Mr. Patriarch. Kevin, you can't beat me. The only reason you ever win is because I kill myself because I'm getting bored. Which... Well, I'm not going to say we're not there yet, but we're, <laughs> we're close. I wanted to get it all done, but... Honestly, it, it's... Like, do we have... I just want to... Like, do we have one that's close? Like a ball and a hand that are close to each other that can get to each other that I could test this with? I don't think we do. We have this one. And... We have a hand over here. But no real ball nearby. Hand over there, but no ball nearby. Yeah, I don't think there are any... Uh, hands near balls. We have this, but like... Maybe go down here, and then over here, and maybe it like picks it up or something. It feels it feels like a stretch. It, it feels like a stretch to me. It feels it feels like a like a stretch and a half to me, honestly. Uh, we'll investigate this map. This one has the collectibles, so I'm I'm imagining that it's not gonna have anything of importance to us right now. But I don't know. Maybe it does have the little you know, orbs of, of snow and things. I'd, I'd be surprised if it had uh, any kind of, like, rose or tome or something like that. And why would they have three but then only two of the, uh, the things actually in the, like, objectives, you know? Maybe the Lore Master is just a rare find in an arena? Like I don't, I don't know, dude. What are we here, boys and girls? I do not know. Oh, you're dead, dude. Shouldn't turn your head around. Guard your, guard your face on the other side, but let me shoot you in the the back of the head. It ain't gonna, it ain't gonna, it ain't gonna get you very far. I'll tell you that much. I don't like that. <laughs> I can't respect it. Hmm. There's like a billion ammo crates everywhere in this map, though. Which is, uh... You can't deny it's awesome, right? Not having to worry about ammunition. I'm just, I'm just using the decals. I don't need to I don't need to worry about anything else. I just, the decals are good enough, really. How many ammo crates? I mean, that kind of happens in Endless anyway. Is, is lots of ammo crates everywhere. If you're, if you're kiting, you should, uh, you should never really have ammo problems. But it does have, it does have the, the crates are in a very convenient location, I guess we'll say. 
A lot of maps put them kind of like out of your way and you have to go and like find them and get them. Whereas this is kind of just like what I'm naturally kind of kiting around is, 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 is good enough for ammo sustain. Yeah, I don't think there's anything here. To be honest with you. Mm. Get out of here. I don't, I, don't, I don't think there's anything uh, going on on this zone. Yeah, I, I don't think there's anything going on. We can just finish it off, I guess. This is not where you get the lore master thing, is my imagination. So we'll play a little bit more aggressively to finish this off. Why are you walking that way? Like, what is what is their pathfinding? <laughs> what is their pathfinding? I do not know. I wish I could get up there. Maybe you can. You think? I think it's possible. I did get up there. Mm, if I capitalized on that, I might have been able to get around. But I feel like if you have to do something crazy like that, it's probably not the way to do it anyway, right? It's probably not the way to do it, is my guess. Okay, we'll uh, play a bit more here. It, it's it's literally an hour and six minutes that we've been playing this endless match for. You know, like sixty-two minutes is is how long this 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 match has been. I uh, so this will be a quick wave at least. Um, it's this door, man. I'm pretty sure it's this door. How do we get this door open? It's got like four things on it. I don't know. I don't know, dude. There, there they are. I'm rage a bunch of scrakes all at the same time. Heck yeah, dude. What's the worst that can happen, right? Death to the scrakes is the worst that happens. I don't know what this door is about. Like, do I have to shoot something, or...? Hmm. I don't know. I'm getting a little bit bored of it, though, <laughs> to be honest with you. I feel like it's gone on long enough. All I can see are these stupid hands that are littered about everywhere. But... Honestly, like, I, I don't think that that, maybe they have to do with something, but like, I can't interact with them. You know, like, I can't actually. Money, anyone? I'm feeling generous. Have a gun? No? Have a grenade? I've already tried that. Beyond me, dude. Okay, so this is where we found the tomes. Maybe we are able to find something else here. This is boom. So this, if we're gonna die, this is where we're gonna die. Just putting that out there. This is where we found the tomes. Can't shoot you yet. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Can't go through there. We got something. There is a Zed coming around this corner. It's dangerous, that's scary. I don't like that. Now that's bullet time. Like, I just don't see what we can do, honestly. I want to get up here, though. I, I figured something like that would happen. I expected this. That's why I was checking that uh, path there. Over on the other side over and over again. Because I am concerned about uh, back spawns for sure. Okay, we're out. We're out. That's, that's all we can do up here. Boom is dangerous, man. Boom is dangerous. You can't get close to stuff. 
stalkers and crawlers and all these, they become like even more dangerous and they're already pretty dangerous, honestly. I'm trying to maybe get a peek, see if we can find something related to the, the tomes or something here, maybe. Maybe having it unlocked is going to open up something in this area. I don't know, dude. Like, we still don't know what the lever does. Like, we pulled the lever and it, we still don't know what uh, it does. It said there would be consequences, but we still... Honestly, I haven't really seen any consequences, so... I mean, I don't know. Are the consequences that I can now just randomly get the Loremaster Arena? Is there something else I have to do? I don't know. I want it though. I want to be done with it. <laughs> we might just end it soon and I'll, I'll look it up. I don't know. If I'm going to look it up, I may as well just... I'm not going to look it up yet. We'll, we'll, we'll play on this map a bit more before I look it up. I like finding it out myself. It's, it's just more fun. But we have been doing this for an hour now. That's like six matches in uh, normal, you know, units. <laughs> so, yeah, kind of a little bit concerning, honestly. Like, we have this weird dumbbell thingy, you know? Chains and stuff. We got another boss fight going on here. Um, there's all these birds up there, too. Maybe we can shoot them? Don't think we can. <sighs> okay. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Can I knock this over somehow or something? Like, I'm, I'm desperate. I, I feel like it has to do with these. I feel like it has to do with these. You have to like kill something on it or... Uh, yeah, there was that one other map, the one with the big pillars. Right? Like that one... Had no collectibles. That I could see. It might have had something else as a result of that. Because that's kind of been the pattern that we've seen so far. Um, the one with the tomes had no collectibles, the one with the roses had no collectibles, every other thing except for that one area had uh, collectibles. So that one area is kind of suspect to me, but we can't get it, we're not, we're not getting it, you know? It, it might be this one, I don't know. No lore master arena either, I still don't know what the stupid lever did, like, what does, what does that lever there do? There's consequences, but like, we still just don't really know what those consequences are, to be honest with you. Let's just, just go through. Yes. Okay, so crazy idea here. Okay, like, super crazy idea. No clue if this is what we want or not. Ah, we're dead. I was going to try and kill him on top of the hands. Maybe that has to do with it. Uh, instead, we just died. Hubris. That's okay. I'm getting bored of it anyway, to be honest. So, 268,000 damage. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Did we get any new... Uh, I'd, I'd imagine we didn't. We did get fairly close, I think, right? Like, mm, about halfway on that. On the large Zed kills, we got... Mm, doesn't really tell us. Um, headshots. We got not that far. <laughs> not that close. We definitely got... Oh, uh, not really um, the damage. Or, yeah, no. Not really uh, anything so much. Um, I'm pretty sure the assists... Is from, like, some endless like pool stuff or whatever anyway that's gonna do it for today i was hoping we could get it all done in one match that would have been super cool but 
we can't, so... Oh well, right? It's okay. Um, thanks for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.